I'm like, hey, take a picture. Show me what it looked like. Please. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, we're rolling. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Two okay. one, okay, guys. I'm Sasha with Nothing in Pretend Podcast. Thank you to Bob Pop Media for housing and producing and to Latina Podcast Network for having me on your network, guys. If you're watching, go listen. And if you're listening, go watch. Go to YouTube. Like, subscribe, share, do all the things. Help this girl out. Um, and thank you to the people that have been listening thus far. Uh, I have... <laughs> I already know this is going to be a lot of fun. So I have an amazing guest today. Please introduce yourself. Hi, guys. I'm Michelle Ditta with three L's, but my name is Michelle Ariano, legally. Okay. <laughs> legally. <laughs> legally. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what do you do? Oh, it's so funny when people ask me, like, what do you do? Because I'm just like, dang, like, if only, like, people really knew, like, because yeah. I know you like you, you have so many businesses, so it's like marketing admissions you know payroll and doing all this stuff so it's a lot so i do a lot of the front desk um we me and my husband we own a beauty salon together did that hair and nail studio and then we have a beauty school together texas barber and beauty academy so it's it, it takes up a lot of time you know like and so we have another business in the works we have a tr food truck guy so make sure to look out for that one yeah and so that's something that takes up a lot of our time but um and then of course i'm a teacher so it's like I do so much and I always just say I'm like just throw me wherever like wherever somebody needs help or at the shop sometimes I still step in like even though of course like you know we own it and stuff but I feel like I still like to work I still like to help I do a lot you know you've seen us at the events you know we're mm -hmm. always like engaging so that's usually what I'm, I'm up to all the time and then I'm a dog mom so yes <laughs> yeah. tattoos yes tattoos I do tattoos I like um well with the shop it was kind of like they were all doing their own little like they were building up as nail techs and they were building up as hairstylists and they were building up as um other things like estheticians facialists so it's like well where can I place myself where I won't take away too much you mm. know because of course starting a business it's always going to be depending on where you open it, how you open it, right? It's It takes five years for a business to be, like, fully established. And so I feel like I wasn't able to – I wanted them to get the money and then, you know, whatever comes from me what comes from me, you know? Yeah. I want them to be fed. And so I thought of what can I do differently, you know? And so – Everyone was always like, y'all do everything here. Like, we do facials, waxing, everything, nails, hair. So it was like, let's add something different. And so I went in, and I, I was like, I'm going to start learning how to do tattoos. I'm going to take a course, and I started getting it. And so now I miss it, though. I feel like I don't get to tattoo as much. Like, mm. I work over there from Monday through Friday from 9 to 8 p.m. Dang. Every freaking day. Yeah, and so Saturday's my only day off, but... I've been doing like laser treatments and like trying to like invest into myself and try to love myself too at the same time. So yeah. on Saturdays, it's like my only day to do my thing. Like, you know, so because I'm going to do my nails at like nine, nah, like I'm going to do my nails at eight, nah, like, you know? Yeah. So I think it's Saturdays is like my, my spa day. So I still nice. got to love myself and stuff. You Absolutely. Know? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the hard part of like being a jack of all trades and doing all of these things is like, truly finding that time for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like I, I have to book stuff out like a month, six weeks in advance. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm not missing that appointment, mm -hmm. whatever it is, like facial, what a wax, whatever. Like I'm mm -hmm. not missing it yeah. because that's me time yeah. and I have to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. So I totally get that. Um, so you actually did a tattoo on me yes. and I didn't even tell you this. I wanted to tell you on camera cause I think it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. So I was recently at a pool party, right? Yeah. And so it says it, the tattoo says bite me. <laughs> so I, I remember yeah. it. She's like, can you put it right here? Yeah. And I was so like, it's, yeah. yeah, it's right here. Um, <laughs> but it was for your Halloween event. And yeah. so you had like flash art, whatever, yeah, like flash, flash tattoos. tattoos and stuff, and yeah. so I was like, oh my God, that's super cute. Yeah, I'll get it. And it's like in cursive. So it's, it's really cute. And so <clears throat> I was at this pool party and I was like, oh, I was like, look. And it was like, uh, somebody was like, oh, what is that? And this guy looks at it and he goes, beat on me. And I was like, bro, <laughs> he's so silly. He's like, what is that? Because yeah. it looks like an E because of the eye. Yeah, right? but oh it's cute. God. And I was like, bro, I was dead. I was like, it says bite me. And he <laughs> you're was like, like, you're too close. <laughs> he was like, I'm such a Mexican. He was all beat on me. And I was like, what is that? He's, he's so funny, dude. No, yeah. and then he told me too, like, I was like, what if someone sees it? You're like, they shouldn't be that close to me. It's true. That's true. They should. And if they are, then. Because it's only for her mans, okay? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's literally just for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs>
No, but I think it's hilarious. So, yeah. um, no, and I think it's awesome that you do that. Also, cheers, by the way. Cheers, my dear. This is apple juice. When I met her, guys, like, <laughs> her energy, like, it was just high. And, like, I was like, man, she's funny. She's she she's good vibe, you know. And so I was Aww. like, it's like I feel like we're kind of the same, but not the same. But yes, we're yes, different yes. in different things. Like you know, you're like my cousin. I feel like mm. that's good. There goes my prima. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. her. Let's yes. go chill again, dude. I've been like so proud of you too. I wanted to tell oh, you, like, thank you. I'm very proud of you. Same. You're doing the good things. Same. I love it. So you actually have a really big event coming up <gasps> yes. this week on Sunday. Yes. It's like gonna be the. I feel like it's the first one in San Antonio because I've never seen a school give away like a scholarship for a barber battle. Mm -hmm. And so what it is, it's going to be three categories. It's going to be the fastest fade, mohawk with design, and then it's going to be the traditional cut. Okay. So those people are going to go against each other and it's going to be three winners of each category. We'll go for the final round like Netflix, dude, like Dang. all like intense and stuff. So um, and then afterwards, they'll win the first prize will be an eight thousand dollar grant to the to the school because we've had a lot of people wanting to enroll and we don't offer like financial aid and mm. we offer in-house financing, but a lot of people can't come in. And so. We were like, well, what way can we give back? Like, we just want to give back to the community. The, I feel like our community has blessed us a lot right now. Yeah. And I I can't thank everyone enough. So I wanted to just give back. And we've had a lot of good sponsors, a lot of good vendors. Like, so it's not hurting me. It's not hurting the business. Like, it's just all people coming together and, like, joining forces as yeah. well. And as well, thank you for sponsoring us as well yeah. um, with the podcast as well. So it's, like, that's super awesome that everybody's been, like, you know, helping with everything and stuff like that. Yeah, when you had reached out to me, you're like, hey, like, would you mind kind of, like, being a part of it or, like, helping out or whatever? And I was like, just tell me what to do and where to be. And, yeah, you're like, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. She, she literally, I had texted her and I was like, friend. And she's like, okay, well, just tell me what you need. Like, I, I got you. Like, and it was all voice and messages. Yeah. I was like, that's my girl. Like, and it was quick, like, yeah. thankfully. So I was like, dude, let's do giveaways. Like, you yeah, know, yeah. let's make it dope. And I reached out to all these local businesses and they all really helped. Like, Smirk Works is our graphic designer. She's donating, like, a whole, like, banner package business nice. cards everything so if it's like it's all like barber stuff to our average kid he's a he's a videographer for us as well he's actually hosting it and doing a performance on it so Dang. it's gonna be super cool nice. yeah it's like his first time so it's like gonna be super cool like i'm excited then we have meta main who's our other artist uh we have a guy named king pacman he's country so it's gonna be like super different like yeah. you know bringing all worlds together and so if y'all like country y'all can be there but um we're gonna have different artists we even had a a, a woman a woman reach out to us and she was like hey i want to be a part of it and so i was just like i want to marry her you know what i mean like i wish i had more time to promote y'all but yeah get on it you know like y'all can get onto it so it's like everybody's been really thankful the grand event centers helped us out a lot so yeah. shout out to them they've been um you know helping us with the event halls and everything like that getting us situated so it's been super cool i'm even gonna have like moon bounces out there like it would be like all crazy like i want it to be super cool and then um of course like barber vendors tattoos on site they're gonna have flash tattoos again too nice. i feel like everybody loves getting a little tattoo at the same time like, Say, you i'm know. like just yeah you're like Just I have put it room. somewhere and go. You're like, I'm yeah. good. Let's go. Yeah. You're going to get more or no? Probably. Yeah. She's going to hit me up for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I do tiny ones. I do tiny ones. Like fine lines. But I do want to get into like some like portraits, like badass stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, but of course, I know it's going to take a little bit more time. I've been actually focusing more on like doing like. Because my husband, like, now that we kind of work together in the same building, like, I feel like I want to do, like, dope colors with him. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. I, you see, like, those Instagram hairs, like, all dope colors and stuff like that. So I've been trying to lean more towards that. But it's so hard to get people that will really want to do that. Yeah. Like, a lot of my friends are, like, business artists or business professionals, and they're like, I can't freaking wear that. Like, you know, and I'm just like, so I'm trying to see. So if anyone wants to get, like, some crazy hair designs or crazy vivid colors, let us know. We'll, we'll do them for you. My hair has been, I think, every color except really? for orange and pink. I really like it with this brown, though. Thank like, it you. looks really nice with your eyebrows. Thank you. So when I dye my hair, hopefully I look good. Dude, but I'm so white. Yesterday when we were looking at the podcast, I was all freaking white. I was like, <laughs> I need to get sun, dude. I was like, yeah. oh, I look at paste. No, but, but it looks pretty on you. Like, either way, no. the blonde or the brown, like, I like it. But no, dude, I've been, like, bleach blonde, I, like, platinum. Did it kill your hair though? Don't like. Yeah. That's um, why I stopped doing it, bro. I'm like, it's so hard. Yeah. I did purple. I did blue, green, uh, 
red, like red, red, like Susia Red. Susia Red. Yeah. Oh my God. I did wear Susia Red and they're like, you look like a porn star. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's not what I'm trying. I'm trying to go for the Wendy's girl. Yes. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. Like slushy, but no. But honestly, I, I, what, what, what was your favorite one though? I can't even see you at those. Like, yeah, I'll show you. Um, honestly, I think the purple. Purple. Yeah. Because oh. it was like a deep purple. It was like a pretty, like a nice purple. But I did. So I wanted to go platinum, and then I wanted to go silver, Ooh. and then I wanted to throw like lavender in there. Ooh. Yeah, but my hair just would not do it. It wouldn't take it. It wouldn't go silver. It went platinum, but it wouldn't go silver. And I had already spent like a, like a G and my hairstylist was like, I don't think it's like, I love you, but I don't think it's going to do it. And I was like, more. fuck. Yeah. You're like, so. I can't, what am I going to do now? Right. Yeah. Shit. No. I know. Right now. That's why I was like, I kind of wanted to let my hair grow out, do the dark hair vibe and just give it a new theme. I've been blonde for so many years. I feel like it's finally time for like a, a change. change. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Make it easier. That. Yeah. It is. I need to dye my hair actually. I got you. I know. Um, I'm like, I'm just going to go to your school. She's our brand ambassador, guys. So you she gave in all this. Stuff. Yeah, you hit it here first. <laughs> Did that hair and you and text. Eight. So if she doesn't have time for the shop, we close at eight at the school. She Dang. can come. Yeah. Period. So anytime it's it's, it's crazy, right? Like, but we yeah. wanted to offer like a different schedule for everybody. Which I love that. because that's always the like. I guess why people don't go to stuff or can't, especially like single parents, moms, dads, whatever. Cause they're like, well shit. Like I only have all my kids at school, but then I'm working. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's hard for them to find that time. Like how um, to work with it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. like what made you start the salon and then what made you start the school? With the shop, I mean, I have my mom, she like has multiple businesses. So I saw her like, I mean, my mom's from Mexico and they're immigrants and my parents, they both have very successful businesses. So it's like I've seen them grow and like struggle, but then get everything that they've always wanted, which is hard work. So mm -hmm. I was like, I learned a lot from her. I saw how she did a lot of things and stuff. And so she taught me a lot. And I, I just took in everything, anything she was willing to like teach me. I was like, all right, I'll go. And my husband, we had met and I was actually in nursing school. Yes. So, like, it was, like, a whole different transition coming in from doing nursing and then going into the beauty industry. But yeah. my parents, they had, like, disowned me because I decided to, like, quit school, dude, because one day it was just, like, so tough for me. I had came back. I had a really angry patient, and it was just, like, not a good day for me. And so I was just, like, I was, like, at home crying, and I was, like, I don't know what to do in my life. Like, I was just, like, I just hate it right now. And he was just, like, well, why do you suffer like, and I was like, well, because my parents, like, I can't let them down. Like, I can't. They they went to this country so that I could be able to do something for myself. And then so that's why I respect Drake when he's like, my, I may not be a CEO, but I live the lifestyle, you know. And so mm -hmm. it's like, it's a very rewarding field. But I was just like, I wanted to do something for me. And he's like, well, what do you love to do? And I was like, damn. I've never had anyone ask me that. Like, especially, like, my mom, like, mm -hmm. being so, like, Mm -mm. Mexican parents, you know, like it's so tough. And so I was just like, what do I want to do? I was like, he was like, you really love your nails. You really love your hair. Like you always like to be pretty. You're always doing your friends' makeup, your ha their hair, whatever. Like they're always coming to you for that stuff. Yeah. And I was like, you're right. Like, and so right then and there, I actually signed up to go to beauty school and I dropped out of college and my husband supported me the 100% way. Aww. Like I just, so it was really, really awesome for me to have that support i know a lot of people don't have it yeah and shout out to those ones who are doing it without no freaking support and just going hard like for sure it's hard it's yeah. really hard and so um i graduated and i had some a lot of stipples along the way you know that like really pushed me back into being where i wanted to be so the shop was supposed to be a goal for me for a long time ago but I had to go to different schools because I got into an altercation at that school. Mm. And, you know, I just had to defend myself. Like, a gay guy hit me in the back of my head and pushed me back. And I just, like, started fighting him. And so they were like, it doesn't matter if it's a guy or not, like, or what it, like, what's going on. Like, you, you fought back and you didn't run away so we kicked you out of school yes and so i was like oh my gosh and so they kicked me out of school dude because of that that's crazy with 70 hours to finish back then it was 1500 hours now it's a thousand hours so i was literally like two weeks away from graduating but i felt like the school maybe wanted more money or what it was like you know because then later they're like oh well, you can come back now like it's okay 
And I was like, what? But you're going to have to pay more. And I was like, no. Like, I was already on a contract. Like, y'all let me go. Like, that was, it was unprofessional. I should have really went to the, you know, like, news media and try to make it yeah. a little bigger than what it was. But back then, I was just so new. Like, it was, I wasn't, like, what, not how I am now. Like, chingona. Nah, no me dejo, you know? Like, I'm like, por pendeja, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm just like, but I went to a different school, dude, and I had to pay 300 hours. I had to do 300 hours extra. And so I was already ready to get my career started. I already had a hella clients. Yeah. And so one, it, that school was just bad because I, they really didn't teach me. I had to teach myself a lot. So it, it was really tough for me too. Um, but I wanted to become something. So I was always doing clients in school, always kept my name up, always kept the following, trying to, you know, at least promote, promote, promote. It's really important because it's not even about being good anymore. Like you have to be, a social media influencer or you have to make content you have to be yep. this and that and it sucks for like older generations that they don't know anything about that you know yeah and it it, it sucks to be like that and a lot of even younger generations like i have girls who kind of come to the salon and they're like well our school didn't teach us that like so everyone as soon as they start in we do social media class with my girls we do a social media class so it's like it's super important it is and so um i was always trying to keep up with it and then one day i was like i finished it worked out i was actually still i was working at home and i was like oh, i don't really like people coming to my house you yeah. know and i'm trying to grow and so i actually had started working at a shop and you know that shop taught me a lot of good things and it taught me a lot of bad things on how to manage women, on how to talk to people, on mm -hmm. you can't just be like, you're so stupid, why are you doing that? You can't talk to people like that. You have to talk to people with respect, talk to them with empathy, and if if they're feeling something, you have to make, even though you're a strong person, that person might not be like that. And right. so um, I learned that, and it was during COVID, and there were some things where she still wanted to charge me rent, and it was closed down, and I was like, I mean, like, can you at least break me half or like, so there was just a lot of stuff. So it's like with me, I feel like when I know I'm in the right or if I know I'm getting screwed over, like I'm not going to let it pass. And it's actually ruined a lot of relationships for me this year because hmm. of me putting my foot down and not letting people, you know, take advantage of me. But then it shouldn't be a ruined relationship because if they had a real relationship with you and respected they you, mm -hmm. right, they would understand. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. So, so I'm like, it's good that they weeded themselves out, you yes. know, because it was like just fakeness at that point. Because it's better for me to come to you as a person than to go and put it on social media. Absolutely. Or put it as a review, like as a business, right? But so it's like, dang, people can't even take it now. So it's like, yeah. it's tough. But I decided to to make things differently. Yeah. And so I got a suite. I wanted to do my own thing. I was doing hair, nails, lashes, everything, tattoo or uh, permanent makeup mm -hmm. and freaking body sculpting all in one suite. And I was like, this is a lot, you yeah. know? And I even needed help. So I started training on a girl, Christian Bustos. Shout out to you, my girl. And, um, you know, she was a mom and I was, she wanted to do something different too. And, you know, she wanted to keep going with it, but she had some family things that she had to take care of. But man, she was, she was hustling. And so we were both working together. So that was my first like person that I kind of like put under my wing and took care of and was like, all right, let's do this, let's do that, you know? And so we kind of just, we're like, we need room, like, you know? And I was like, well, I think it's time. And she supported me through everything. And she was like, well, you know, I'm there to help you. I'm there to like, you know, start renting. Like she was like, I don't, I'm not looking for no handouts. She was like, I'm ready to start paying. Like, yeah. so it was awesome. And so at first we were like a, like a rental kind of thing. And so it was really tough. Um, I didn't, I, it's not that I couldn't keep the tenants, but it's, it was hard for them to be their own independent bosses while promoting while trying to pay rent and so i feel like people go in thinking okay i can do it i can do it but you gotta make sure that your numbers are gonna match to where you can pay your rent you can manage your household and still be able to buy products and things like that so it's like um it was tough so and then two i wanted it to be like a salon where people could walk in but mm -hmm. then no one was there mm -hmm. so it was tough and so i was like let's make a whole switch yeah so we switched to commission base. And so now everyone is there from 10 to 6, Sunday 12 to 5. Like So it's like a set schedule. Anyone is able to come in. Everything's the same pricing. It makes it easy. Yeah. The girls still get paid out very well. So it's just like, but they don't have to worry about like, 
overhead pay mm. but like all that like supplies everything all they do is just come in do what they love and they get paid for doing that and so i felt like it made it a little a little easier for girls who were just starting off for sure yeah because people don't understand like yeah you can start your business and like go to school and all that but the amount of money it takes to get it off the ground like is crazy i mean a website mm-hmm. you know graphics like that alone is a big expense Mm-hmm. Um, payroll, right? If you're gonna yeah. do QuickBooks, all that you need a CPA, you need mm-hmm. somebody to help you. Like it's a lot that people yeah. don't really know and that they don't explain. No, and which is good. Like I feel like you and I both are very good on the graphics, good on the videos, good on things. So it's like we save ourselves so much money for sure. Like I made all of our websites, I made all of our cards, all of like um, Peggy's really nice and smart work. She helps us out with like printing it yeah but or like maybe like tweaking it a little bit but at the end of the day like those are our designs that we come up with like Mm -hmm. me and my husband like um and i'll say more me because like he's just like i don't know about that stuff like that's all you you know like he knows like the barbering side he knows like that side so it's like i know more about the 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 book side because it's a lot of stuff you know making sure that your Mm -hmm. llc's are in order to the compliances so it's a Mm -hmm. tough tough industry yeah yeah and taxes <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm tax. like, I got the, the meeting this weekend. I'm like, yeah. ooh. I, I remember back in the day when I was like, oh, I can't wait to get taxes. Now I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> like, just just hide me from them. But they, yeah. they'll find you. So, yes. Yeah. I'm no. not trying to be like Martha Stewart. Like, every year until like my CPA, I'm like, I'm so sorry, but here's all this shit. This and thing. then I don't, I, yeah, all in receipt bags. <laughs> like, I'm paying for QuickBooks. <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, you, you have to, you get your pros and cons, you know, it's like, if it gets to a crazy amount, then like I do use certain things to help it, like it, make it a little easier, yeah, like yeah. Square. Yeah. I love them. They're, they're a very good company. So if y'all are a small business and y'all want to try to get opportunities, definitely start building an account with Square because they'll give you loans. Oh, nice. They'll help you as well. And they'll kind of just tell you like the up, up costs. Yeah. ahead of time so it's like oh do you want to go on with it like versus like when you get a credit card or a credit line of credit so there's all these things guys like it's so crazy like you know but there's so much that that i had to learn along the way for sure um what do you like i guess like what's your dream with this honestly like my dream for sure is since it's texas barber and beauty academy oh and that's another thing i, I forgot to tell you why we started the school because when we were at the shop it sucked that I saw a lot of young women or an, and older women that would once go to, go to school and they didn't know what to do or they didn't teach them this. They didn't teach them that. And I was like, babe, like you don't know how to do a Brazilian. Like that's something that you as an institution should know. Yeah. And so brown laminations, tints, lashes. So I try to hire on people and us as a full service salon, I'm looking for a full service esthetician. Right. So you have to be able to learn how to do lashes. And so it's hard to find someone who does everything. Mm-hmm. And when we were having to train, we were having to train extra. Mm-hmm. And then it takes out of our time because we have to do everything. And it's like, we shouldn't be showing you the simplest things like certain haircuts or certain pedicures. Like that's something that you should have learned, you know? And so me and my husband were like, I'm kind of tired of it. Like, you know? Yeah. Because when I went to barber school, I had a horrible experience as well. So it was like, because I didn't let myself get over, like, you know, I don't let people just come in and just try to ruin things that I got building for myself. Especially when you get a little bit more successful, there's going to be have people that are trying to bring you down and try to, you know, mess with you. And so um, the barber school that I was at, my, my husband was having to be the instructor for everything. And so it was like, he's not getting paid for that. And, you know, he's just trying to talk to his clients. He's not trying to teach your students. And then we're not getting any compensation. So it was tough. And then we made the decision to let's open Texas Barber and Beauty Academy. My husband had been working at that shop for many years. Shout out to CFC Barbershop as well. Um, they, they had a beautiful connection. He saw a business go from ground up and, like, see it be successful. And so... Um, he stuck it out and did really good for himself. So it was really hard for, for him to leave that because he was already GM. So it's like he had it so good. Dang. You know, he was chilling. Like yeah. he loved the people. And so I feel like now when we first started, I was like, oh, pobrecito. Like he's all by himself because we didn't have no students. Like we opened this dream just with all the faith in God. Yeah. Like 
and without him we wouldn't have gotten where we're at for sure so it's like you definitely have to have faith in what you're doing for sure and so we went in and we opened the school he quit quit there and you know he still helps him with certain things but you know he's over here full time now we weren't even gonna open yet like i didn't even get to have a grand opening because in december Mm -hmm. i wanted to open in january but in december we had gotten students that were just like lining up and i was like thank god and shout out to average kid because he actually recorded a video for us and it got two hundred thousand views i saw that that one yes yeah yeah, yeah. yes brandon you shared it yes i love her (laughs) she's always supporting me and i always support her too i wish i could go out at at night as much but then i'm like i gotta oh i gotta work tomorrow but (laughs) i'll still ride out for you baby you know and especially um it was just so crazy like that video just hit and it just got us all these students and so we ended up taking them in. I was like, dude, I don't even have to sign up yet. And they were Dang. like, I don't care. Like, I want to be there. You yeah. Know? And shout out to my students for believing in us the way that I believe in y'all now. Because, I mean, my boys believed in y'all. But, man, y'all make me proud. Like, yeah. showing them and, you know, having them. They get a little frustrated because it's like you're learning it. And then you kill it. And I'm like, wow. Like, yeah. you did good, you know. And yeah. so we we let them in and we just opened the doors and we were open. So we were just up and running and God has really, like, blessed us. Like, if anything, I need more students because of the amount of people that are coming in to get services and things like that. So it was really good to us. Like, And and I'm very blessed to have the school now. And I feel like since it is Texas Barber and Beauty Academy, our next goal is to go ahead and open in different states. Dang. Be a little bit more worldwide. Yeah. Host more battles. Give yeah. away more things. Um, you know, help sponsor more companies and things yeah. like that. Uh, I really want to give back because I feel like I've been so fortunate with people who have blessed me that I want to just bless others. That's my favorite. That. Mm-hmm. I love that because there's so many people too that are like just out for themselves. Yes. And like, we oh, can all eat. Everybody. 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 There's like, enough room. also, I mean, in San Antonio too, like, San Antonio is like, it's a big little city. Like, there's still mm-hmm. over 2 million people here. Yeah, 2 million people, yeah. guys. Like, so, so you can good. get 2 million followers right yeah. now. We're getting to that, you know? Yeah. But so, like, with you, you know, you're another social media. And I love networking with you because it's, like, us together are going to gain more than us trying to separate ourselves. Like, For sure. that does nothing good. That provides mean girl energy. And a lot of girls are having this mean girl energy right now. And it's making them look bad. So, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah y'all yeah. know y'all know yeah. if you know you know yeah. if you know you don't know. do that like it's not cute yeah it's not cute like we're adults um and it's not high school bro like they act like it's high school i know and then to post drama on social media like right now i feel like anybody listening to this guys like if you have something that you need to say to someone say it to them mm-hmm. don't go out on social media and post it for sure it's the most embarrassing thing for yourself one and then for that other person because no one is ever gonna know both sides yes. you're just posting what people think they know right and how does it look as a bit i've had people bash me and it's done nothing to me but motivate me to go harder right open the school boom open i did a whole scholarship program boom like People don't realize, like, haters are your motivators when you think about it because it's like you're doing something good if somebody's fucking hating on you, you know? So, because out of all these people you want to hate on me, I ain't doing nothing but trying to just get my money up and make people successful. Right. And, like, when people go to other people and, like, Mm. Mm -hmm. run their mouth, like... And it makes it look bad because it's like that person doesn't want to get involved. And then it's like, now I got to not fuck with both of them. Right. And so, like, you're blocking your own blessings. Exactly. Um, and my thing is, like, I believe in karma. Oh, yeah. That's and, why. Dude, yeah. me too. That's why yeah. anytime anybody has ever said anything, I leave it to the dogs. Yeah. And they're like, you're not defending yourself for what? Mm-hmm. What's that going to do? Right. I don't need to defend myself. They're saying things that are irrelevant. And if people want to believe them, then that's them, mommy. Like, yeah, I don't care about that. Right. Like, I'm going to keep doing me and God's right. going to keep blessing me. Yeah. You know? And that's one thing it. too. Like, if anybody's ever said something bad about me, I'm like, let them. Because at the end of the day, like, if you know me and you believe them, that's that's, that's where it's like, bro, you should know me. Yeah. And that's what I do love. Like, man, I got some. I got my my girls who will stand by me Same. and will go on there and defend them. Like, cause they're like, we don't know, we own business, but we don't care. Like, and I'm like, 
that's my girl. Like, and I hate it because I'm like, don't get yourself involved. Like, they're like, no, I don't care. Like, they're saying dumb stuff. Like, it literally is dumb. Like, yeah. I understand if it was something relevant, but it's nothing. Like, right. you know, so a lot of the times I'll go in and step in and I'm like, that's them, you know, but I do. I love, I, got, I love that I got my, like, writers on my side and yeah. I have my friends and my family who are just like, okay, like, why do you even, you know? So. I know. It's it's cool though. Like I feel like you and me are, are on the same mindset where it's like, if we were to hear something, I would go call you and be like, "Hey, so and so saying this," mm -hmm. you know, and then but not be all like, "Oh yeah," and tell me like, get no. into it. Like be like, "All right, cool. I hey, I gotta go real quick, but I'll talk to you later." Like yeah. I'm not gonna give into that cheese man. Yeah, into that negativity. I'm gonna go and tell her. Yeah. And that's, that's where, like, because I, I fully expect out of certain people, like, loyalty. Oh, for sure. Like, because so, like, you know we're right. Like, we're, right. Yes. So, like, certain people, like, that have come to me or have told me stuff, I'm like, okay, what did you do in that moment? Did you add to it? Did you let it continue? Did you shut me, the shit I, down? I, I need all <laughs> the, the, like, you need to tell me what happened. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Because it's going to determine, too, like, how we are gonna be you right know? right because am i gonna keep so why were you? you talking with her like so basically you're talking shit about me to be able to get more stuff out of me like i feel like that's real two-faced yeah, you yeah. know like who are you gonna go do that yeah. else with you know but i think it's just in this like industry and like the uh, us working with a lot of people that's mm -hmm. just unfortunately like the name of the game mm -hmm. and a lot of people have been like well you know you're doing something right when you have haters mm -hmm. But like I hate that because I'm like, but I'm a good person. Like but if people I was hate on you because you have nothing. That's why I feel the same way. You have nothing for them to hate on. Yeah. So they find a way to hate on you. They hate on you because no matter what the hell they do to you, it's not bringing you down. Mm -mm. And you know that you have this like light, bro. Like and people see it. You know, our producer saw it earlier. He's like, you'd be a good vibe. You know, and yeah. so. People see this light, so people hate that. They try to dim your light, and so yeah. if people want to hate on you for you being you, that's that's something that's something crazy to me. Like, yeah, because you're not you're not you're not doing anything to them. You're so like in your own world, and you're like so. It's like I feel like those people are crazy. Like I just let it be. Yeah. One ear out the other. Like yeah. you know, just let them be. Yeah, I always feel like what it is is people hate themselves, and they just don't want to admit it. You know. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. A lot of people and that's something that I learned in school, like you know, getting my degree. And it was like people are going to treat you in a way that they essentially they have insecurities within themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's not about you. Um, it's that they're putting it on you. Yep. They're putting their insecurities and their bullshit on you. Mm -hmm. And so it's easier for them to put it on you than to self-reflect mm -hmm. because self-reflection is not easy. Mm -hmm. And so. You know, I'm good. Like, I can look in the mirror and be like, I'm good. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of yep. who I'm becoming because I am I am continuing to change and evolve, and I want to be better than be I was better. yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and that takes time and effort, but I'll, there's so many people that are just not willing to do that. So they just project and, like, all right, do you, sis, or guy, girl, whoever. Like, Yeah, like, do your own thing, you know? Yeah. And so, and I hate it more, too, because they're going to try to come back. Mm -hmm. once you're at the top top because you you're at top now right but you're gonna be top tier mm -hmm. soon and i was just talking to aj Rivas about this and i was like man natasha she's gonna be big bro i have a feeling Aww. like i got Thank the you. chill look look at my hairs <laughs> i swear to you um she's gonna be big and i'll be there to support her because she's doing big things and i love to see that for her Thank so you. i was like gonna talk to you and i was just gonna be like all that other stuff that happens who cares? Focus on you. You know, that's yeah. the main thing right now is to just be on you. And I feel like right now is a good time to just focus on yourself, because then if you try to help others, I feel like they take it disrespectfully or they might not want to do it. And then you waste your time. Yeah. So it's like it's OK <laughs> to put yourself first, I feel like, you know, and that's what I've done. That's what I'm focusing on, like this year, like last year was very much about like other people yeah me and too. like not necessarily pleasing other people but just like being there and doing everything we were for people pleasing else. yes, like yes. We, we need to say it because i was the same way dude yeah i don't know what shifted or what made me realize it but i cut off a lot of people that i was like bruh like they're just using me or like they're just yeah wanting something and i was like i really want to see who's real and who's not real and so i'm glad i do have all my real people there for yeah. me but now you see it and you start to 
Mm. You know, it makes you a little different, you know? For so. sure. Yeah. So like now I'm, I'm giving energy to those that give energy to me. Mm -hmm. And, but what I've noticed is like half and half is that like the people that I start reaching out to <clears throat> don't reach out to me or they're like, Hey, are you okay? Like, and I'm like, oh, okay. So then Mm -hmm. it, it is it's you know reciprocal versus like mm -hmm. oh, okay like if i stop reaching out to you and you're really not going to reach out to me because it's like people that i would check in on like hey i haven't heard from you are you okay hey is everything okay hey can i help you do you need anything mm -hmm. blah blah mm -hmm. and it's like a couple not not many that just like i start reaching out they start reaching out like all right mm -hmm. bet mm -hmm. and you that's the perfect way to see who's there for you is yeah. like don't hit them up yeah don't hit them up see who's gonna hit you up and see if they're down for you how you know you yeah. say you are so that's something that i did too which i'm glad that's why i feel like we're like on our we're on our high levels right now we're doing good for so sure. it's like i'm proud of you again i'm like so oh, proud of you again. i'm proud of you too thank you for not trying yeah so especially with the battle it's gonna be super cute and it's the first one so i've never hosted a barber battle so i'm super excited it'll be great yeah um the next one is gonna be for just everyone so it's gonna be big too so i'm excited um we have the dates it's gonna be in the summer so it's gonna okay. be super fun i hope to see you there yeah of course but yeah because i mean everybody keeps asking us they're like well am i if i'm licensed can i go in and i'm like no it's for people who who don't have it and yeah we can honestly take anyone like the law it, it actually lets anyone who is 15, 16, 17, you can get your license at 17. Oh, so crazy. you can start get yes, you can start getting your hours, uh -huh. 15, 16, whatever you get them, you're eligible to take your test at 17. Dang. Yes. And you don't need a social, no social, no problem. Yeah. No high school diploma, no problem will take you. So everything is like. A lot easier for everybody now I so it's super awesome a thousand hours so you can get licensed super yeah. quickly it's awesome and then you know we offer cosmetology barbering manicuring esthetician eyelash technician cosmo so it's like a lot of courses that we offer and then we offer day courses for teeth whining two gyms body sculpting um you know permanent makeup tattoos so it's another thing i've been working on is like actual day courses for people who are already licensed yeah and they just want to come back and maybe get a refresher from us oh, or nice. you know maybe like get get it back up to date okay or like a different certification or just or a like, different certification yeah. yeah we are actually offering uh we collab with the med spa so we're actually starting to offer botox and filler courses as well nice. so i'm excited yes okay it's gonna be good all right i'm trying to be having everything in there too yeah so, mm -hmm. and literally a one-stop shop yeah literally one-stop shop and then one-stop shop with the school i love yes. it that's like our thing like is to try to offer everything and so this taco truck oh my gosh <laughs> you said and this taco truck yeah. you're like i don't know where well because the school's right next to industry uh-huh so i'm gonna put it up right there dang yes my husband loves to cook i love to make like mexican food we like to do barbecues so yeah. it's gonna be like basically like backyard start I so it's gonna be like that. so yummy so um definitely i'll let you know once we do maybe like maybe like an event or something at like best summit or yeah el camino or something and do like a little pop-up and do something like that so that's something my husband's been wanting to do so that one's his business okay and then um a barber shop's in the making too yeah. so it's like we're trying to focus on beauty and then add a little bit of food in there i love it like somebody was like dude like you're really good at like retail like our uh realtor work and i was like you're right like i got down good stuff like and i help people find good stuff yeah, and yeah. i work with these teams and i like vouch for them i know what's going to be on their contracts what they shouldn't do They're like why don't you be a real estate agent and i was like oh yeah all right all right <laughs> i was like i guess i don't have to do too much like i just flip the houses you know if yeah. somebody needs it so i was like that's another thing that we were trying to get into so there's all these businesses that i want to do guys i want to do all these things but where's the time you know so mm -hmm. that's really important you're gonna do it i'm gonna do it yeah. i'm gonna try you're gonna do it I'm you do metals you. right i do okay yeah i need to get with you because yeah. i need Adrian was telling me over the phone he was like yeah she just did the metals you did my bff i did what did you oh do yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so i was like i saw hers and i was like oh i need to get some yeah. i didn't think of that like yeah. i didn't think like that's super cool yeah. so tell me about them more 
Yeah. Educate me. Don't okay. hate me. Don't hate me. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. So, yeah. so are they like you put them on something or what do, What are Fiesta metal? Oh, sorry. No, you're For good. someone listening, like yeah, what's yeah. Fiesta? So I tell people Fiesta is our Mardi Gras. Ah, so, yeah, that, yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> yeah. It does get a little crazy. You got girls it on the poles. Super crazy, yeah. So uh, the city essentially shuts down for 10 days and we eat and we drink and we party, but it's all for a purpose. Uh-huh. So in those 10 days, people come from all over the world, all over the United States, and it brings in about $325 million into our local economy. Wow. So that in turn helps us fix our roads, goes to schools, things like that, nonprofits, uh, local nice. nonprofits. So it's, it's a good thing. good thing. So that's why it's party with a purpose. Um, and so there's multiple events a day for 10 days and there's something for everybody. Aww. Literally, there's like dog events. There's kid events. There's like there's everything. There's like senior events and everything in between. Um, you can get, you know, as ratchet or as bougie as you want. Yeah. Um, and so I love it. Um, I've always loved it. I've always gone to Fiesta since literally I was like, a little baby because with my the mama chicken stick me. and yeah. the little hat yes, yes. yes. the flower crown the, the chicken on the stick <laughs> yes I, said, I like the gorditas hey, oh my god <laughs> 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 i love the gorditas yeah. down there they're so no, good i love mm, gorditas. stop you're making yes. me hungry we both did me too guys. i know hey, all, uh, just apple juice you just hear <laughs> <laughs> I, know, all, I know this apple juice is so good <laughs> shout out to mots <laughs> Sponsor us for your next event. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, so, my business is Mira Metals LLC. So, we design Mira and Metals. produce Fiesta Metals. Um, we also do promotional items or marketing items. So he told bulk. me the fans. He we do did his fans. everything. So, everything? You name it, we can do it. Croc Around. charms, pins, backpacks. Dude, I want some croc charms. Yes. Okay. Well, like, well, well, yeah, we definitely yes. going to lunch up. this. You name it, I got it. I can do it. Uh, shirts, all that. It's just in bulk. So nice. I don't do anything small. So people cool. are like, oh, I just need like five. No, sorry. No, sorry. If you sorry. need 50 to 100, I'm there. I got you. Um, our manufacturers are overseas. However, they are vetted. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've been doing this for almost eight years. Nice. And man. Thanks. And so I make sure and I tell them like, what is your business? What are y'all about? I need videos of where people are working the workspace because I'm not going to support a sweatshop. Yep. I want to make sure that the work environment that they're in is safe yep. and clean. Yep. Um, and so I, and they're like, well, we don't do that. We'll figure it out. You Sorry. Got to. If you because want I, yeah. yeah. And also like the quality of your stuff, like, and then are you sending, because a lot of time, and this is sneaky, they do this. They'll say, Hey, do you want to work with us? And they'll send me medals of like pe- other businesses that I know. And they're like, oh, th- this is one that we've done, but it hasn't even come out yet. And that's a big no. Yeah. So I'm like, never send any of my designs to anybody. Yep. Send your other ones. Yep. And um, people don't know, but the metal world is cutthroat. Like, really? Crazy. People are insane. They will wait for hours in a line for a certain metal if they want it. They'll pay whatever. We have a metal, one of our first metals that we came out with. And it's gone on eBay for over four hundred dollars. Allah, for one, that's crazy. We got a cease and desist. <laughs> we got, <laughs> yeah, we we almost got into a lot of trouble. Yeah. Um. So I don't sell it, but I still have it. And yeah. people to this day, I have people like daily now because it resurfaces. They're like, I want They're it. They're like, how do I get this? And mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I can't. Tell you. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's not my. <laughs> that's not yeah. my expertise. So people have sashes. Okay. And so the more metals you have. And they have to be that year. They can't be old medals every oh. year because every everybody comes out with new medals. Um, it, it's essentially like Mardi Gras. Like the more beads you have, the more fun you had. <gasps> and so oh. this is like you're supporting these local the businesses, businesses or ones that you Aww. like. So some people are like, oh, I only want Disney or I only want, you know, whatever the hell. Yeah, like they have a theme Dogs or something. Yeah. or whatever. Um, and so they'll be they'll be searching for them. People will travel all over the city. Like, how do I get there? Can I have one? Can I have two? Like people have to limit like Thursday tomorrow. I'm actually going to be by you. Oh, yeah. If you want to come, you can see the craziness. I want so to. Love Shack Boutique, we did their medal. Oh, really? I've been awesome. trying to get her for years. And she was like, no, sorry, I'm loyal. I'm with this person. Well, same thing, right? Like we're friends, like we're real tight now. And so she's like, all right, let's do it. Let's so do it. Yeah. I did one for her last year and she's like, OK, next year you're doing mine. Yeah. And so she left the company she was with to come with me. Uh, I'm just saying the best. Yeah. <laughs> and they came out amazing. So Aww. I'll be doing the reveal for her. But awesome. people, they posted it and people were like, what's like, what's the limit? 
<gasps> and she's all like five per person. They're like, okay, yes. And because um, they'll sell out. And once they're gone, they're gone. Dang. So. Definitely got to get into the Fiesta stuff for sure. Do it. Because I know I was, I wanted to get a booth or like, you know, just to do like the little hair sparkles or something or something cool, you know, but do you know how, how to kind of get into that? That's harder to do. Yeah, right. Yeah. You have to like know somebody, you know who knows somebody. somebody. Yeah. I'm all set up by the gorditas. I don't care. <laughs> They're like, give me a little little barrier or something. Little alley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, come in here. They're like, you know oh. what you should do? Um, this is just like an idea. Mm-hmm. It, and I don't, sorry, you should. I'm not telling you what to do, but like, what no, I could love. Be a good See, idea. this is what's good, guys. Yeah. You take in everything, even though that you know what they're gonna say. You just shake your head <laughs> and you go, "Nice," because it's rude for someone to try to give you advice, and you're yeah. like, "Oh, I already know that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, no, no I think what, what would be cute is they give you and your girls. Mm-hmm. I mean, y'all would have to take a day off. Yeah. Or you know, whoever, and like rep your shirts, do your do your hair, do your makeup, do your sparkles, do all that, mm-hmm. and like just show up at Fiesta, like show Dude, out. Dude, I you, took them last yes. year. Okay. Did you? I accidentally, but not there, not like that. We dressed up like mm-hmm. that, but I'm gonna take them with their shirts because that's smart. Because we didn't take them with the shirts, we went like little sucias, but we went freaking viral on some guy's video. I was over there dancing with the little chicken leg and everything, but we went to go party. But networking, yes, yes I should go over there and have them network and Hand I'm out like little no flyers, micheladas. Cards. Yeah, because there's chingos of people, right? Mm-hmm. You're smart, you're smart, you're smart. See, guys, she knows what she's doing. Always be marketing. Always be marketing because yes. it's it's going to get you a lot for sure. And networking will get you more than... Shh. People don't understand that. Like, they're like... Ugh. Some people are like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm too, too good. Busy. I'm too, you know, whatever. Mm. No, I don't give a fuck. I went to a networking event last week and there was like a girl who I ended up meeting who like knows my cousin Hello. in Connecticut they Allah. have friends. yeah like i like you never know who you're gonna meet mm, yeah ever and like networking has gotten me so many good things opportunities and it's you're literally just going and talking to people yeah and, and you love to talk and so i feel I like we're very uh outgoing and yeah. we like to talk to people so it makes it even easier and yeah. that's another thing i feel like um if you are gonna network don't be like like be engaging towards people. Be nice to people. Like, you know, like, if you want people to, you don't have to be like, oh my gosh, yeah. like, hi, Natasha. <laughs> oh my God, I've never seen you before. Like, no. Just yeah. be like, hey, Natasha, what's up? Yeah, like, yeah. Just be you. Like, yeah. generally be you, yeah. you know? So. And I've, I've met people, they're like, oh, I follow you. And I'm like, oh, badass. Like, what do you do? And then we connect. Yeah. Because they're a business owner or whatever, or vice versa. Like, there's mm-hmm. been people that I'm like, oh, I think I follow you. Yeah, or we have mutual friends. Like, it's yeah. that easy. Mm-hmm. It's that easy. And it's not like, oh, my gosh, like, I'm not, I don't want to go up to her. Like, who cares? Like, dude, the the amount of people you could get from just that one person or yeah. just, like, knowing, like, you never know. Like, we go to, like, crazy things and it's like, oh, yeah, my, my son's, like, a basketball player. And I'm like, for who? He's like, the Spurs. Like, I'm like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> and you're here, like, hey, yeah. like, you know? So yeah. it's like. You meet a lot of people throughout that. So it's like be be open to it, you know. But also on that same note, excuse me, um, treat everybody the equally. way you would want to be treated and treat them equally because you never know. Like there have been people and I've seen people. I've, I've just I've been around so many people. You have to. You see people and like how because I, I watch I people watch. Oh, yeah, so, me too. Sit back and listen. Yeah. So mm-hmm. how that person treats somebody else when they think that they're like a janitor or whatever like that says a lot about them them. um i'm very big on like how you treat um service industry people oh yeah will tell me everything i need to know Mm -hmm. because if we're out somewhere and you're all hello like where's my drink oh i hate that karen "Mm." i'm like "Mm -mm." i'll just be like whenever you get to it like it gets or oh I can't believe him acting like that what's wrong with you like no 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 like you you generally if they're being crazy then all right whatever sure. but just leave you know or yeah. just hey cash me out but you don't gotta make a scene like i feel like people they go the extra mile and try to you know what i mean be all crazy and stuff i'm like oh because i've had some i i just sit down and they're just negative attitude and it's nothing to do with i'll be like hi and they're just like well would you like and i'm like I know that last person was an asshole, but don't be an asshole to me. Right. Because right. I'm not. This is a reset. This is a reset. Yeah. Exactly. And so yeah. people don't reset a lot. Right. And I used to work service industry. I started out as a busser. Like, For real? Yes. Casuelo. Yeah. Cow. 
Yeah. Well, you know what it was? It was the mean girl shit. Because I went to this place to get hired. Me and my best friend went on the same day, applied at the same time, but hired us both at the same time. We were like 16. And they're like, yeah, yeah, no, we got you. Well, there was like these girls that I had gone to high school with. Ugh. And well, one of them. And then the others went to like some other high school. And but they were like a clique. Mm. Tell me why they let my friend work front of the house and they were like, you can be a busser. Uh huh. So they made me a busser. And then, dude, I remember one time it was like raining outside and they're like, you need to wash the windows. And I was like, what? It's raining. And they're like, oh, no. They're like, so. Uh-uh. And I remember moving furniture outside, washing fucking windows. Like, but here's the thing. That shit backfired because then guess who's always in the kitchen with the guys? You. The busser. Oh, so you were in there getting all the food and that. But like. I like I've always gotten along with guys mm-hmm. and so we're like shooting the shade and then some of them were like oh you're a new girl like you know how guys are yeah yeah um or girl, girls too girls they're too. yeah mm-hmm. they're like oh like what's up like what's up girl like yeah, you're yeah. cute well they were like dating some of those guys <gasps> so then they were like what the fuck and I was like you put me here yeah this is your fault yeah shit backfire bro you shouldn't have done it so that's another thing too if you come in with like negative or mean intentions It'll backfire on you. So it's like just do everything yeah. how you wish to do it. Yeah. And two, yeah, there's a lot of mean girls like that. And it's just like. It was terrible. Don't check me. Check your man. Period. Yeah. Because I'm just trying to get yeah. the dishes to the back. I ended <laughs> up quitting, though, because they. I don't even know why I'm telling you the story. But they ended up, like, <laughs> harassing me. Shut up. Like, they would call my house. And, like. The guys. all like, No, no, local, no. The, the girls. The girls. <gasps> Uh uh-uh. uh. They would call my house like all hours. Of Not the for night. the cocineros, bro. I guess <laughs> I was all. I mean, you can keep him, dude. Like, it's like, not yeah, even it's like, like that. It's okay. Yeah, I don't you're want like, your man. You're like, I'm 16. He's 35. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> like, guys, what? That's so funny. Yeah. So, I mean, I've always dealt with shit like that. I'm sure you have too. Yeah, I mean, just it's it, being pretty has its pros and cons. Pros and cons when you're just. You want to get something or, you know, uh, can I, you know, can I cut the line? Like, yeah. Cool. Right. But when it's like other stuff, it's like you feel harassed or I feel like the older I am now, I'm like, Ay, me respetas. like <laughs> you talk to me. Right. Yeah. I go to the store and they'll be like, and I'm like, yeah. oh, do I look like a dog to you? <laughs> like, excuse me. No, yeah. but yeah, like there's bad. There's good and bad. But I love that. I work with my husband now, so if somebody does, because I'll be checking in people, and they'll be like, you know, and be like, are you going to cut my hair? And I'm like, no. They're like, well, what can I do to get you to cut my hair? And I'm like, uh, babe. <laughs> Girl, go through my husband. I'm like, instructor to the front, instructor <laughs> to the front. Like, like, so it's pretty cool, you know, but um, when we first got together, he was jealous. Mm. like girl you would try to fight everybody mm-hmm. and i'm like you can't be like that yeah. like i was like i know you ain't never been with someone like this but <laughs> baby like you're gonna fight everybody like yeah. if you're gonna have an altercation so now he's real cool like he's just like but me and myself i don't i'm a very outgoing person i feel like sometimes people can mistake it for flirting but i'm just being nice like i'm just trying to make you laugh or i'm trying to say you know you and you know we were the same yeah and so uh if it gets to a point, I'll be like, yeah, well, my husband over here, like, I'll try to bring him in or do something. Because he's very respectful to where, like, if someone's talking to me, he's not going to butt in. Like, he's not going to yeah. be, like, all insecure or anything. So, it's like, we've all grown together, you know? So, it's all good. How long have you been together? Nine years. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just got upgraded, too. Oh, period. I'm all, look, guys, are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, so cute. But we've been together since I was 19. And I'm going to be 29 this year, so... No, we got together when I was 20. Well, married. Yeah, dang. Whew. Long time. Long time. Dang. Our anniversary is in July. July what? July 31st. Oh. Yeah, so cute. for our 10 year, we're going to do like a crazy big party. We didn't get to have like a wedding when we were younger. We just got married to the courts and stuff like that. So I want to do something big. Well, if you want to renew your vows, I'm an ordained minister. You told me. So I got you. Oh, yeah. dude, it's so hard. Can you imagine her being it and my own brother being it? Who the fuck am I going to choose now? <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> and Natasha, she'll remember. Oh, yeah, I remember. I was at your wedding, but I didn't marry y'all. 
I'm like, Natasha, please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. But yeah, my brother too. He's he's so oh. funny. He goes and does like weddings on the weekends. Yeah. He's so cute. Yeah. I love him. Oh, get your brother, girl. Get yeah. your brother. That's different. That's family. That's family. Yeah. But if y'all need, she's got you guys. So, yeah. you know, that's super cool. What got you into that? Um, I don't know. You just like me. You get bored, right? Don't lie. <laughs> no, Don't freaking that's lie, dude. Happened. You're just like, I need to start a new no, business. No, <laughs> that's literally what happened now that I think about it. Because I was like sitting there and I was like on break, break in school, like grad school. And I was oh. like, what am I going to do? And I like went and I like signed up. And then it came in the mail and I was like, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, I can marry you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I've married three couples. What do you wear? Like a blazer? Like what is, what's yeah, your fit? Like, like, are you like titties out? Or no, no, no titties. Like, okay. I mean, still like form fitted, but not like over the top. Okay. Like I'll cover. Mm -hmm. I wear like a jacket or something. Like, okay. You know. Nice. Stylish, but Stylish, so cute. yeah. That's why I was like, are you all like bladed out? Like about to like slay some vampires, like leather Ooh. or, cause honestly, I mean, I, I, he just wears like suits. I fucking love blade. I love blade. I love that. <laughs> that was movie. my favorite movies. I, I feel like, like I always wanted Fang when I was younger. Girl, you know what I actually have to do? What? I got I got a grill, but it's Fangs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's right there. <gasps> it's by your shop. No, you didn't. Yes, dude. I need to go pick them up. The little diamonds on the like the little dude, I had some Fangs. When I first met my husband, he he was from the east side, so <laughs> Can, yeah, Isai, you can already imagine. I have my little shrimp earrings. Yeah. My little chains. And so I was like, he had a grill, and I was like, I want one. And he was like, for real? And I was like, yeah. And so I, I got a grill, and it was like these little things, right? Did you really? Yes. And I have pictures of it, and I was like, oh my gosh. I went to my mom, and she was like, Michelle, <laughs> like, what are you doing? Because she's all like old school Mexican. So she was, but now it's like trending. Yeah. Now it's trendy. Back there, it's like you're, oh, you're yeah. a gangster, or like, you know what I mean? Like, I've just always definitely. wanted one. I've always wanted one. So I got. One. I want like a diamond one though. The one I had before was like a like silver, like just gold things. So yeah, so mine are <laughs> polished gold. You're <laughs> stupid. Not us having the same grill. Oh my <laughs> gosh, we would, dude. And then the guy who gave them to me, freaking, they ended up turning like bronze, and I was like, oh no, because I was like smoking back then, and oh. so I was like. Wow. That's and so I was like, and then one day I think I was just, I was girl, I think I was just with my, my, my dude and his friends and I wasn't thinking, but I was like, ha ha. And I threw my fangs at him like an idiot. And then they landed into the grass and I was like, there they go. Like, <laughs> like, well, well, there's that. That's that. Yeah. <laughs> but Kim K, she's like, she's bringing it. Like she was the one who started on them off. Right. Like, out, like bringing them back. Cause she had like the diamond one. Kylie had one. Kylie had the like in between. I like that one though. That's teeth. cute. I thought about it, but like, I don't know. Cause when I smile, you can't see like all my teeth and like the bottom, you can't see my bottom teeth. So I was like, I don't want to get a top and a bottom. I do have really big top teeth. So I never really talk with my bottom teeth. Same. I guess. See, like, now that I, now that I'm, I'm like, like, oh, no. But you know that when you smile, you have one, two, three, four, eight. So you have eight teeth, which means that if you have any, like, your teeth are the most attractive smiles if you have anywhere from eight to ten teeth showing. So you're good. Perfect. Yeah. Thank so you. don't feel bad. Like, you <laughs> look great. Yeah, like, thanks. I'm like, great. Yeah. And then when I widen them and then I put a diamond, it's going to look great. I, I got know. you. I know. I need to go. I'm going to go. I'm just going to go. I'm going to spend like a whole day. Yeah. And then get all the margaritas, all the drinks. Shh. Right now they had a tropical menu. Like, so they have like a cucumber drink, a watermelon drink, a freaking spicy drink, a pineapple drink. Like they just make all these drinks all day. That's crazy. And that's when people were like, uh, I tagged you in it. And they're like, uh, I need a salon that serves Has drinks. The drinks. And I was like, Michelle. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> go there because yeah. they got it all. Yes. And then too, I mean they're they're real liquor like i know a lot of places do like wine base mm -mm. this that real stuff yeah. okay it, it's not the swalza or what's that or that cheap tequila oh, sal salsa yes. it's, <laughs> it's something with the z and yeah, it's not perito okay yeah. oh perito <laughs> oh did you see that people are trying to drink mds now like it was like like it's yes. a new thing yeah they're like what is this you know like, that mds are five dollars now mm -hmm. i tried to get one the other day i was like what the fuck i never drank one nah i didn't try to get one but i wanted to see how much they were. i drank boone's farm i drank uh four locals i did that too the grape one. Ooh. Ugh. I don't even remember what flavor. I just know I threw up like every time. I just remember me waking up in a bathroom or me waking up with like like a little bit of throw up in my hair. Like, what the fuck? Like, where did this come from? And I'd be like, seriously? 
And then I'd look, oh my gosh, I would steal liquor from my parents' cabinet. Oh my gosh. And then, okay, they had a, like a vretina, which is like, a, I guess like a buffet, right? Yeah, or yeah. like a thing. They have all these bottles, right? There's no lock on it. That's their fault. Whose fault is, was it? And so I had my friends staying over. My parents, so our room's right here. My room's right here, and there's like on the other side of the house. And there's a door that blocks it from them. So like they have like their own little suite in there. And so they never heard anything. So I would be chilling with my friends. They did put bars on my wires on my house so I couldn't escape. Same. But I'd be getting lit in there. <laughs> and so one day I took the Don Julio. So my first drink ever was Don Julio. Like Good. ever. Like First shot, first drink, first liquor, anything was just don't back. Like with Sprite or Wait, something. Blanco, Reposado, I No, dude, the dark one. Yeah. Reposado. So, I, <laughs> and then, <laughs> hombre, dude. I, uh, it was that weekend that our family was coming, but I had already accumulated a lot of bottles. And I'll fill them up with water. Mm. And so my parents came and we had all our family and they're like, Michelle, they were like, me pasas las botellas real quick. And I was like, fuck. And I was like, what do we do? And so I was just like, here you go. And so I put it down. And then my tío literally opened it, poured it in there and goes, y esto que es? And I was like, holy shit. Oh. My mom took me to the room. <gasps> I've never seen it so quick. And then the chancla. I got beat up. Yup. Because it was like, they're like, I can't believe that you've been doing this so long. And I was like, you're all, I can't believe you didn't catch me. I know. I was like, <laughs> so who are you mad at? <laughs> me or you? But yeah. it was crazy. And then one time my mom came home and I was like, this was the first time I was drinking and I didn't know how to like handle my liquor. So I drank two, four locals. Dude, she, <gasps> I woke up, bro. Or no, my mom woke me up and I was in the, in the room. Like, just like, <laughs> and my friend was there too. And we just like, Apparently, I think we were trying to go to the restroom, but we we stumbled across the way. We ended up on the floor. And so my mom came in and she took me to the hospital to make sure I didn't get raped. Like she was like, it was that intense because I was like faded. And so it was like four locals were really strong back then. Like, yeah, they were. They were like killing people. Yeah, they're illegal. That recipe. They're illegal. So they had to change it. They had to change it. So <clears throat> my mom was like freaked out and she was like, what's going on here? Like, because they're all drug. Like, what is someone came in the house? And I was like, mom, the doors were locked. Like, okay. Like, yeah. so yeah, she was like really freaking out. And so it was like a crazy time. So four locals, man, I used to drink a lot back then. Now I, I feel like I drink more now for like the, as crazy as it sounds, but more for the content. Mm. I don't really like to drink like that no more. It gets me so bloated. It gets me bloated. Gotcha. I'm hungover the next day. Yeah. Turns into calories. I'm yeah. trying to lose weight. I didn't know if I tell you. I'm trying to lose weight. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look all sexy for my birthday. Yeah. It's in August. Period. You're mm -hmm. a Leo? Leo. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. What are you? Capricorn. Capricorn. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> like you're chill. But you're like, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. You know? Yeah. I've met every single Capricorn I've met. They kind of have a little meanie in them. Like yeah. a little meanie in them, like a little mean side, nothing crazy. Not like mean, mean, but they're like very like, don't fuck around with me. Like, you I know, mean, and that's you. And I like it, you know, yeah. so they're a little spicy. Do you believe in astrological science? I do. Yeah. What does my sign tell me? <laughs> what matches me? I mean, Leo matches you. I think so. Bro. I would say like, if you weren't a Leo, I would say Capricorn or Capricorn. you might have like some Capricorn moon or like, I got Aquarius. Rising. Close enough. So because us Capricorns like we thrive on like work mm. like work 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 and like just moving like mm -hmm. always moving up always doing something mm -hmm. and so you remind me of me in that aspect mm -hmm. but your like your energy is like Leo yeah like hey let's get shit done yeah like, like but like you're out there but like mm -hmm. you're like you don't give a shit which I is don't. good I like I like it because it's more like you take my personality or you don't like, yeah. you know, like I feel like I shouldn't have to change myself for yeah. anyone. My friends will tell me like, Hey, I'm going to have an event. I need you to like cover up like, all right, cool. You know, like my friends know me, you know, cause I could be a little crazy sometimes, but I feel like, um, if they, you know, if it's like a, a work environment or something, I, I do change who I am certain aspects. That's why with me, like, I don't know. It's so hard. Cause I do want to show people more me. Yes. Not like the business me. Right. You know? But I think about it and I'm like, eh, like, how will it go or how? Will it? So it's something I've been transitioning into, like showing people more of like my personal me versus Same. like the business yeah. side. I know. Well, like April, she's like my best friend and she's like, you're so fucking weird in like the best way. And like, yeah. she's, your, she's like, you're hilarious. Like show people that version of you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. 
because I'm like only I'll certain people get or, that or, version. or like or get or not judge but like it takes it's a two year round like I feel like For sure. April's a good vibe like I feel like she's just like your sister like you know she yes. she's got that good love you she's know very like big sister shout out to 210 photo booth for going and sponsoring our event on Sunday bam 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 bam, bam. <laughs> yeah, that was good eh? I like it I like it I used to be a DJ hey. <laughs> I do want to be a DJ, dude. There's so many things I want to do. And me and my husband make music Same. together. Oh, my. You'd be a cool DJ, bro. I can see you like, I don't care about nothing. Mm, 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 mm. And then, like, everybody trying to get in your section. Like, back up. Yeah. Back up. Yeah. Like, I could see it. I'm not going to lie. I went to, um. oh, what the fuck is it? Uh, I was just there in June in Houston, but they had one here. Sorry, Poppy. Have you been there? Dude. Did you go? I wanted to go. You haven't been? Uh, dude, I think I had caught... Um, I don't know what it was that day and I couldn't go out. I you think I got a micro go. and I couldn't put makeup on or some shit. Like when, it was something that yeah. was like whenever important. they come back, you have to go. I'll go with you. Let's go. Yes. Because it is one of the best experiences I've ever had at a club mm-hmm. ever because it's all women. Everyone's dressed up. Everyone's throwing ass mm. like freaking no judgment. bottles to the head. Like no. there's zero judgment. Nice. Zero. Nobody's like worried about some weird guy groping on them or yeah. coming up to them. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody's like living their best life the music banger after banger after banger Dang. and it's female dj female I was wondering. host so in houston we were i was literally at the front front row uh-uh. and there was these two female djs and i was all you're like i want to be up there with you <laughs> also i want to be my friend yeah i was like hey my friends are dj yeah like, <laughs> that's cool yeah. though i mean i think that would be something really awesome to do i mean even just here like going yeah. live and yeah. just doing different mixes and masters and stuff like that. It's super so, cool. So, yeah, I mean, like, nobody like nobody knows this. But, like, it made me want to do it. And uh-huh. so I reached out to my DJ friend, uh-huh. who's, like, one of the best in the city. Yeah. And I was like, hey. And he was like, I got you. Oh, that's so, so cute, Brick. Yeah. So you're going to do your first live show? I can't <laughs> wait. All right, I'm there. You heard it here live. <laughs> Tell us the dates. No, <laughs> no, no dates. Not, no yet, dates. not yet. No. Like, no I'll definitely let you know. You'll be one of the first to know. Okay, good, because I can't wait. That'd be super cool. Yeah. I mean, we've been we've been trying to do things to, like, entertain ourselves, too. You yeah. Because it's like, um, like, with us, like, we like to go out. But I feel like now before when i was younger i feel like i could go out and do whatever the hell i wanted right but it's like now i have a lot to lose yep. so it's like i'm an uber or I'm oh gonna, yeah yeah is that is it worth going over there or is it you know so it's like i feel like i'm a little bit more timid now but i just i'd rather be safe you know no, but i still sure. want to go and do stuff you know yeah mm-hmm. i don't want to be like real scared like oh she just stays at home and, oh. like no like i want to go out and do stuff but the smart way the right way yeah because yeah. you can still have fun. Just, yes. like, do it the right way, guys. Like, don't drink and drive. Like, there's no point no, of it. Like I don't. Um, I Uber, like, everywhere. Yeah. Or if I drink, like, I'll leave my car there. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I can replace drop my me car. Off, but you can't replace you or yeah. those people. Yeah. You know? So it's really or important. Or my career. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's hard to be able to do that. And then the scandals and things like that. So it, there is a lot that, you know, comes with success. You have to make a lot of sacrifices. Like, I can't do the stuff I used to do or say things that how I used to, you know? Right. So it's like, just know if you are trying to go that content creator or that, that in the eyes of people, just know that everybody's watching you and they see what you do and they don't forget it. Yep. So yep. watch what you say, guys, watch what you do. Yeah. Cause and whatever you put on the internet is there forever. Oh yeah. So mm-hmm. even if you erase it, somebody can do screen recording, somebody can save it, somebody mm-hmm. can whatever, they'll, they'll send it. Yep. to whoever to try to get you in trouble if they don't like you like yep. you know i mean it hasn't happened to me but you know it could have i've seen it happen to other people so. yes that's why i'm like my friends have suffered from a lot of things which is like i feel bad for them too and then uh, what they go through i learn from it too and i'm yeah. like hey like mm-mm. like my husband you know he kids around a lot and like we do a lot of stuff and i'm like you know w- when we're going live he'll say certain things and i'm like you can't make that joke though, because yeah, yeah, yeah. our, our friends like that, or you know, don't. You gotta be careful. But unless you're a fucking comedian, do whatever the hell you want, yeah. you know. But that's like the only way that you get away with it. Yeah, you have to really think about what you're saying mm-hmm. um, and who you're saying it to, exactly. because people will repeat shit and they'll twist it and they'll, you know, be like, "Hey, mm-hmm. she said this, yeah. did this," and then everybody's trying to cancel everybody, cancel culture, and then cancel people. So it's like, 
that's I feel like that's what people are wanting to do nowadays. And it's like, why are y'all wanting to do that to get rid of competition? There's so many people here. Yeah. Like, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. No. Yeah. It's a um, tough one. Okay, so how do people find you? Uh, social media. Find me on Instagram at Michelle did that for TikTok, Facebook, everything. Um, Texas Barber and Beauty Academy on all platforms as well. Did that hair and nail studio on all platforms. Uh, we have two locations. One's off of the barber school is at 8045 Pinebrook. Did that hair and nail studio is at 6739 Northwest Loop 410. So just in case I want to stop by um, because of today and for having you, we'll go ahead and offer whoever watched this video 30% off of any service. Dang. Mm -hmm. Well, so y'all better watch this then. Uh, yep. <laughs> when, so whenever y'all go to the checkout, just show them the podcast and oh. then they'll be able to. That's very sweet. Thank you, friend. You're welcome, friend. I got you. Yeah. You know, for always so stuff. all of my subscribers, y'all better. Y'all better go get all <laughs> the services. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yes. That's awesome. Thank you. Yes, friend. Um. Okay. So anything you want to say to maybe aspiring business owners or maybe your followers? Yes, aspiring business owners. Um, for sure. If you make mistakes, it's okay, but don't continue to make those mistakes because then those turn into choices. Those turn into decisions and it's really tough, but continue to keep going no matter who or what people tell you, because no one knows the dream that you have. No one knows the goals that you have in play for you. And another thing is be careful on who you tell your dreams to, on who mm. you tell your aspiring things. Do not you manifest it, but don't don't ruin your blessings for you by speaking too much or doing certain things so there's a lot of things guys there's so so much but um you know if y'all ever need me y'all know my social medias i can go ahead and give it to you i do want to thank natasha so much for having me i want to thank my husband for always supporting me throughout all my dreams my mom my family i love y'all all so much my tia vero my brother all of y'all y'all are the best i like the t like the new station i want to go ahead and give a shout out to <laughs> mama i love you no, no. <laughs> but yes guys like um I'm so glad. A shout out to AJ Rivas as well, too. Love you and love you. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. The <laughs> See, I'm so used to I'm so used to work, guys. I'm like, okay, thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. Like, it's like a routine that goes in my head. Like, <laughs> no, I, I, got sometimes you, I, got I won't you. be saying anything. Like, oh yeah, you guy. But I got you. Thank yes. you for having me, friend. Yes, thank you for coming in. <laughs> yes. That was her point. <laughs> yeah. like, Whose job are you talking to? Yeah, I'm sorry. Whose podcast is this? No, Who, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, producer yeah. <laughs> yeah. no um thank you so much it's been great i knew it was gonna be so yeah you're fantastic i love you i'm so proud of you everything that you're doing i can't wait for sunday i'm yes, super excited so much fun. um yeah i'm just i'm excited for everything good. you have going on yes it's gonna be and good i'm here one. to support you so, i'm yeah. here to support you yeah, thank you let me know for the show yes yes dj natasha yeah i'll do your I thing i need a dj name um you know like nortenia to 10 i mean I like that though. I just have it for everything. You do, but that's good. You're yeah. marketing everything. I mean, true. So the same across the board. Same across the border. Yeah. But I do like DJ Natty Nat. Mm. I like that. It just suits you. Do you like people calling you Nat? No. No, right? Mm -mm. Tasha? No. You call me by my name. Yeah. Na Natasha. Yeah. Do you hate when people go Natasha? Or do you, is AJ it? does it to me all the time. I he did yeah. on the phone. That's why I was Natasha. Saying. Natasha. <laughs> he says it like so fast, like like somebody's like karate chopping. Natasha. <laughs> like I'm like stop it. <laughs> he tells me all the same too. He's yeah. so funny. Yeah. I love him. Um, oh, we'll think about it. Think about it. Yeah, we'll think about it. Um, but no, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, guys, again, uh, follow me. It is Nathaniel Two Ten on everything or Natasha Gonzalez. Find me um make sure that you share make sure that you subscribe all of that um please support my friend and everything that she does yes and um support me as well and see who my future guests are and go back and watch some of the other guests whatever i have some amazing people on here so yeah yes thank you again to valpa media and to latina podcast network and i will yes. see you guys next week thank bye. you guys bye how do you know when to stop